taking ownership. What is it in your life that you're not owning? So when we talk about taking ownership, we're talking about taking ownership in a lot of different areas of your life, but what areas are you not owning? But I just kind of had this aha moment. And I was like, everything that has happened to me or everything that I've done, I was in that situation that I was in, it was all my fault, all my fault. And sometimes people give me pushback when I, when I talk about that, because I tell everybody, like everything that happened, like it's, it's all your fault. You control everything. And I understand there's things that can happen to you, especially things that can happen to you like as a child and different types of abuse type things. Like, no, that's not your fault, but letting it control you 20 years later, 10 years later, five years later, that you control that. Because the reality is, until you own your excuses, there's really nothing else to take ownership of. It's the number one thing that every single person in here needs to take ownership of, is your excuses. If you blame someone else for where you are, it puts handcuffs on you because now you need that person to get you out of it. Mm. Or that entity, I got fired from my job, that's why I'm here, you just handcuffed yourself until you take personal responsibility for it, where are we at, right? Absolutely. It's owning it. That's it. Yeah, it's, it's just owning it. And, and until you do that, you cannot move forward. It's just, it's just realizing, you know, I, I can stay in this season, and that's what it is, it's a season. It's not yep. the rest, it's not your life. It's, we all go through seasons, but it's realizing that I am in a season right now, uh, and I got myself into it, and it's time for a new season. To me, and you remember, I studied the brain, right? Yeah. So the thing that I think holds people back is their subconscious. <laughs> because the subconscious is the source of all of the stories we tell ourselves, all of the excuses we make, the laziness, the uh, just all of the fear-based decisions, mm -hmm. right? So the amygdala, the limbic system, that ancient system that we operate out of. Reptilian. Reptilian brain, you got <laughs> it, exactly. And people operate from that system 95% of the time. Okay. Which is wow. terrifying, right? Yeah. Like if you think about that, you're making decisions out of fear, out of mm -hmm. laziness, because you're in this survival mode, right? Which is the pre-programming that Jeez. your brain, yeah. you're born with. I believe that the reason I'm standing on stage right now, I believe the reason why I am now partnering Consolidated Assurance is just because I was able to operate in the face of fear and uncertainty. So give me the five second rule. So basically it was yeah. saying that like as soon as you have the thought to make a decision or to do something that you have five seconds before your brain will take over mm -hmm. and go right back into the fear and preserve itself be, be, right. basically to keep you safe. That five second rule, like I've, I've utilized that so much in my life. Um, in those moments, like you said, when you don't feel like getting on Instagram live, yes. but you know you should and that five yeah. seconds to just do it. Like literally just do it. Even when you don't feel like it, it's, it's absolutely incredible. Mm -hmm.